Before applying Ecapel 2K, we need to wash and scrub everything down to make sure we have a nice clean surface. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see how we do it. Alright, so we're going to use our latex gloves, our scrubby pad, and we like to use the Lysol Power Etching Cleaner. It's a toilet cleaner, but it has 10% hydrochloric acid in it. And that's going to eat off any soap scum or anything like that that you come across in the process. In this video, we're doing the tub and the tile. So if you're not doing your tile walls, do not put the Lysol Power on there. It will damage the surfaces. But from here, basically we squirt it on there and then we take the scrubby pad we scrub the whole surface and making sure that all the material is moved around so that it can eat into any soap scum. If you think we're doing a good job explaining the process of cleaning and etching the tub, please hit the thumbs up button below. Also, you can comment if you have any questions about the process as well. Once you've had some time to scrub it into the surface and you've got everything even, you want to give it about 10 to 15 minutes to just sit on there and eat off any grime that's on the tub. Once you've given it a couple of minutes to eat into it, simply scrub everything in a little bit more, turn on the water onto hot water, and wash all of the material off. The best thing about the Lysol Power is that it is blue so you can pretty much see when you've got everything nice and clean. But just keep rinsing off your scrubbing pad and scrub it as you go, and that will wash off any residual material and any soap scum. Now that we've got the tub nice and clean, we just want to take a take a towel and just dry off all the water. Um, you'll notice the faucet's dripping a little bit. You want to make sure that you close it all the way. If uh, if it does continue to drip, you're gonna want to put like a a glove or a Ziploc bag or something on there and tape that to the faucet to make sure no water drips into the tub. But just go around, dry everything off with a towel. Uh, sometimes if you remove the caulking and stuff from the edges or around the drain, the best way to make sure everything gets nice and dry there is just to go over the tub with a blow dryer for a few minutes with the rag behind you. That will suck up any excess water and also help to make sure that the tub is completely dry before you move on to the next steps of the process. Hopefully this video helps answer any questions that you might have remaining uh, when it comes to the washing process. 
but simply scrub the tile, scrub the, scrub the tub, and it will be nice and clean and etched for you to use. As you can see, it does still look a little bit shiny. That's not a problem with Ecapel. As long as it's clean, it will bond. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for any future videos, feel free to comment below. If you can hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this, we do appreciate your support. You can order Ecapel on our website, refinishedbathproducts.com. We hope you like the video and have a great day. Have a good week,